What's up guys, it's your girl Tamara back with another video. talk about five people you want to surround yourself with five type of people you want to surround yourself with. the first person is positive people you can be a realist and you can be positive that seems so broad because what you mean positive positive what positive work positive people meaning they see the better side of any situation like any situation they see the better side you want to have people with a positive perspective and not a negative perspective and i think this is the case because too many times we get caught up in our own brains and if we don't have someone to show us like hey you're thinking too much inside of yourself right now like i see it this way the second type of person you want to have in your life are disciplined people disciplined people will help you see the larger picture Disciplined people will help you see a future. We don't want to look too far into the future, but we do need disciplined people around us to remind us of our goals, our greater goals. So say you don't want to do something, that disciplined person is going to be like, hey, remember if you do this five times a week, in the next five weeks, you're going to be here. Disciplined people see a bigger outcome and not just the instant gratification or the now, now, now. The third person you want to have around you are busy people if you have busy people in your circle it'll help you stay busy and i think the reason why we should stay busy is because we don't get caught up in our minds we don't get caught up in everything we don't have when we're bored we're thinking of whatever comes to mind you know what i'm saying but i think having busy people in your life will indirectly make you busy one You'll be busy making money, busy working on your business, busy working on yourself, but that way you won't be stuck in your head. So surround yourself with busy people because they will remind you that, sis, bro, you need to be busy like me too. Fourth type of person you wanna surround yourself with are spiritual people. I'm not gonna preach or anything, but you need to have some spiritual people in your life. If you guys are not talking about anything spiritual, I would say redirect that relationship because, or reconsider that relationship because when times get tough, faith really and hope is what really gets us there. If you and your friends never prayed together or never you know, had a devotional together, I would say one, maybe bring that up if that's something you wanna do. Like if you wanna be friends with somebody and you're like, hey, you know, I'm starting to kind of like focus on my spiritual life and stuff too. I know we talk on the phone for hours. Do you mind, you know, spending a minute to pray with me or, uh, listening to me about what I think about this devotional or what I think about this passage. I mean, that's just what has helped me. I know whenever I was going through some tough times, just those people praying for me and reminding me um, to have faith and to know that I'm gonna be okay. So I think having spiritual people around you really can go a long way. Now, the last type of person you wanna have in your life are people who challenge you people who respect you. When I say this, I mean people that are not people pleasers. I was looking on the internet the opposite of a people pleaser, but I couldn't really find too much in the quick time that I looked. But you need to surround yourself with people who are not people pleasers, the opposite of a people pleaser. Because if someone just says stuff to please you over and over and over, I don't really see any growth happening there. You need to have people to challenge um, you and not in the why you do that or why you wearing that or why you like him or but in a way where it's like have you thought about why you may be talking to him when he has a wife you know have you thought about why just anything you don't want people to just agree with you to agree with you because I don't I don't I would hate for my friends to just agree with me to agree with me I want to make sure you know I'm not tripping so you don't want people that's always just gonna say what you want to hear or say yeah that's great oh good idea oh great great like is it though because is it like do you really want to see me win or are you just gonna keep saying the same thing that i'm saying and not challenge me so i think that last person that you want on your side or your team is somebody that will challenge you somebody that will always push you to be better if someone suggests a better way and you can agree with that being a better way then that, i think that that's what people who challenge you do like they make you find a better way or they help you think a different way but for just somebody to be like oh yeah he got a wife i mean girl he'll probably leave her 
He probably won't. He might. I don't know. This is literally the, a random situation that I just like thought of. But if I ever want a man with a wife, I'm asking my viewers to, I want y'all in my circle, right? Y'all in my circle, right? We on this subscribe game, right? That's not the case. Like, let me know. That was a quick video on a few type of people you want to surround yourself with. When I was just like thinking about the type of people I want in my life, I made a list and I was like, I want positive people, you know, optimistic people. I want disciplined people so that when I am like, oh, friend, should I, should I take a shot? 9 a.m., should I take a shot? And be like, no, friend, friend, wait till five. Like, I want some disciplined people. Some people that know that, you know, distractions are just that, but discipline outweighs that. Um, I want busy people in my life. Like, it indirectly helps me stay busy, which means the busier I am, the more money I'm making, the more I'm focusing on myself, you know, these type of things, the, the less I'm in my head spiritual people i definitely need those people that i can dissect the scripture with i need those people that will literally pray and it's, it's no embarrassment like father god <laughs> i need you right now like i need those type of people in my life um and then lastly the people that challenge you the people that say you can do better you're already great but let's see have you tried doing it this way you know have you thought about doing it that way i think those are the type top five characteristics I want in my inner circle. And I can name people like that in my life right now. Like positive, I'll just say my mom right there, discipline, shoot, Damon, busy, Tiana, spiritual, Catrice, um, challenge, people who challenge me, Keith. That's five people right there in my close circle that I know, you know, if, if anything ever comes down to it they got me and so i appreciate you guys of course there's way more people in my circle that i think have these characteristics but if you got something out of this video please share definitely like not sure why you're not thinking about subscribing <laughs> but you're probably already subscribed thanks so much for watching it's about health it's about lifestyle it's about focus this is a focus video, you know, focus on those people that bring that energy that you need to be your best self in your life. It's Tamara.